Revealed as the rich lister convicted of sex crimes, Sir James Wallace now faces losing his knighthood. Why the government's being called out after another slip closes a critical part of State Highway 1, and the Prime Minister heads to Shanghai while securing extra flights to New Zealand. And to Maria, I'm Shuri Kinnear, and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. The process is underway to strip arts patron Sir James Wallace of his knighthood. Five years after first being charged, Wallace can now be named as the prominent businessman who sexually abused three young men and tried to silence one by attempting to bribe him to drop the police complaint. The 85-year-old suppression order lapsed yesterday. Acting Prime Minister Carmel Cipollone says she's initiated the process of stripping Wallace of his knighthood. A critical road linking Auckland and Northland has been closed for two days after major slips. State Highway 1 at Dome Valley remains shut after at least 30 truckloads worth of debris spilt onto the road. It's seen large trucks have to take it to small back roads, which has resulted in queues of up to 100 vehicles. National says it's ridiculous that nearly $80 million has been spent as part of a safety improvement program on the section since 2019, yet none of it related to increasing resilience to future weather events. New direct flights to launch between China and New Zealand could be the first step in many more opportunities to come. The new China southern routes include the reinstatement of the Guangzhou Christchurch route and the introduction of three additional services between Guangzhou and Auckland. The new routes will add about 7,000 seats per month. Auckland Airport Chief Executive Kerry Hui Hanganui has high hopes there'll be more to come. Demand is strong and we're seeing already kind of load factors over 75%. So as that continues to grow, I expect we'll continue to work with China Southern and other airlines in regards to the opportunities for New Zealand. The new routes have been announced as Chris Hipkins departs for his third and final leg of his China trip. His business delegation leave Beijing for Shanghai this morning. But the Prime Minister has been left playing down speculation relating to bullying in regards to one of his top ministers. Concerns were raised by the Department of Conservation after a seconded staff member left Kitty Allen's office early, citing a problematic working relationships with the minister in the office. He says every minister will have a moment, periods where they're under pressure, where they have an interaction with someone when they're not at their best. And pieces of debris from the Titan submersible have been brought ashore after five people died in the implosion during a voyage to the wreck of the Titanic. Photos from the wharf show what appear to be several pieces of the submersible being lifted from a ship. Investigators hope the debris will help answer questions about the craft's experimental design, safety standards and lack of certification. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more news worth knowing, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai te ra. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.